Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm just not used to that much weight yet, I guess. Hooked up! Lisa is hooked up out of nowhere! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It hit hard. He must have gobbled it up and just started going with it. I was even holding my rod and I didn't even feel the nibbles like that I felt in the past. Really? Yeah. Huh. I swear, Joe. Didn't feel the nibs. I didn't even feel Don't the swear, please, cameras. <laughs> You're gonna be fighting dinos like this. I should have grabbed the uh, scooper from outside, huh? I don't want to get my hands wet. You're getting close. Why? Nope. Oh, the sturgeon? No, it's National Women's Day. Typically when we fish for them in a boat, we're using a musky rod with like 100 pound test. So when people hear you fishing for sturgeon through the ice, they're like, well, what, what kind of rod are you using, you know? This is a sturgeon ice fishing rod. This is perfect. It's awesome. This is why we can do this. We can horse them in. It's good for the fish. Oh, geez, that's professional. Unbelievable. I had, I had my, um, phone on loud because I have a oh okay my hands hurt sorry Dave no it's, look at it's Dave thanks Dave we're a little busy right now bud okay I'll let him join us yeah we're in the middle we're hooked up with a dino right now Dave you're missing out I was just gonna see before I went to bed here I'm going to bed but I'm gonna get any more yeah but she got one now yeah yep guess, yep guess what it's on Dave the dinner bell Sorry, I didn't let him guess. I switched holes, so I'm not norking Joe out anymore. She's in my I, hole now. I've proven. Oofda. She's been fighting it for a little while yet now. All right, well, good luck. Maybe it's that 7 inch or something across there. 7-0, baby. All right, got to go. Bye. Let's name this Sturgeon Art. Come on, Arthur. This one's a big bad boy. Oh wow. Oh wow. Focus on the task that is at hand, Lisa. Lots of focus. Wow. You were just starting to lift him off bottom there too. Is that rod fully torqued? Like do you need me to tighten the drag a little bit? Maybe. Just kidding. No, I don't ever touch, touch the drag knob while we're fighting a fish. I d you set your drag where you want it, and then while you're fighting the fish, you just let the drag do the work. We're a quarter hour in. Let me get this slush. Come on, Arthur! Wow. That thing is fully torqued. I am fatigued. You need another butter? Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Focus. Put your legs out. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Get him. Get him. Lift. Yep. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh. No, careful. I got This one is so big. Oh my gosh. Holy. He's just, he's not even looks, fighting. It's just dead weight. Look at it. It literally looks like can a you shark. Can you see that, Sam? Oh my god. Careful, careful. The hook is right there. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. It's so big. Okay, okay. It's so big. Oh my gosh. Lisa. Oh. I'm just trying to help him up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's help? huge. Right. It's huge. Oh, it's huge, Lisa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Wow, this thing is huge. What? How big is this? What? Lisa, how big is this? I don't know. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Wait, can I lay down? Next Are you to kidding it? me? Whoa. This fish is a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lisa, wow, this fish is an ancient giant. We're gonna about to find out how long this fish is. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Are you kidding me? Look at the fins. Oh my gosh, it's 70 and a half inches. 
Oh my gosh! It's bigger than Lisa! Ooh. Wow! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We need to get it back! Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Oh! Had. Are you kidding me? A 70 incher! What? Look at the tail. Look how strong Look at the it tail is. on her. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Are you kidding me? She's ready to go. Sick! Oh my gosh. Sick! Oh my <laughs> gosh, a 70 incher! It's so big. A 70 incher! What? Wow! This is incredible. That was unbelievable. Hook's not even bent a little. That is incredible. Shape, it's got though. the billy rub on it because uh, I was using the pliers to apply it. Okay, here we go. This is for the Minnesota DNR. The approximate age of that fish would be 50 years old. If you do not have a girth measurement, the weight that is highlighted will give an average weight for a sturgeon of this I can length. Do, it's so thick here. Man. That drag is super tight too. It's cinched down. Could be a big one. Oh, this could be this could be a monster. I've been sitting here for three hours with not a single blip on the sonar. And all of a sudden we get one mark and Oh man. That was the first mark we'd seen on the sonar all night. Oh, it just bugs me how it Rides the side of the hole like that. Mm -hmm. Got a groove cut in the bottom of the yep. hole that he's just hanging out in. Come on back this way, buddy. Well, maybe I stick my arm down there and try to guide the line a little bit. No, it's fine. He'll uh, he'll eventually swim that way. There he goes. It's going to be frightening when it does, though, because it's going to pop, pop off there. Yeah. There we go. He just popped it off. That was a little scary though. <laughs> Changed angles pretty quick though, so yeah, he can't good. be very deep. Oh, oh that did not <laughs> sound good. I hate how it does that. I feel like we're getting close. Well, five and a half, almost six minutes into this video. And there he goes again. Anytime I get him close, he's just gone. Yeah, that changed the angle fast there too. Yeah, he's he's close. I have not seen any color. I have not seen any bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting close now. I can tell. I just got ten feet on him there. We decided to try a spot away from everybody. We're the only house within probably half a mile here, huh? Maybe yeah, maybe. maybe more. Gaining quite a bit on them. Oh, I oh, saw, saw something. Him. I saw bubbles. Oh, yeah, I see Bubbles. Him. Hold on, I see him. He's right here. He's right here. Got bubbles. He's a big fish. We Real got big fish. Bubbles up all of the holes at the same time. <laughs> it's a big fish. Oh, I see him up down that hole. There he is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? We are not getting that up that hole. Oh my gosh. Hole? No, we're gonna have to try to tail grab him in the other look hole. At, look at his his body covers that hole. Oh. Yeah, his body covers the whole thing. Dude. He's not coming through there. This is a hundred pounder. Yeah, he's not coming through there. That's a hundred pound fish. No freaking way in hell. You might get him up that triple. Is he? Is he? He's mouth hooked, right? Yeah, he is mouth hooked. Yeah, you might get him up the triple, but you ain't not getting him up the yeah, double. but we, it's freaking 24 inches. We're gonna have to. I can try to. I think we're gonna have to hook drill the line. Hole. You want to try to drill another hole? I think we're gonna have to. What if we uh, cut cut a bridge? Cut a bridge here, and then I can go. I think that might be the best option. Yeah. And then we go but over that But that's more than one hole worth to the bridge. You think so? Um, yeah, I think that's our only choice, though. 
this is mayhem, man. This is above and beyond. Good news is we got like almost four holes here now. The heater went out. Oh my god, I didn't even realize the heater was out. Yeah, this is gonna we're gonna freeze to death in a minute. Alright. We try to clean that hole out again? Yep. Oh. I had to take five and get the heater going again. Now we're gonna clean this hole out and try to get this bad boy through here. You're still uh the thing's still recording? Yeah, 22 minutes, 23 minutes. What's going on here? I don't even know if this fish is gonna come up three holes. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, you want to take your sweatshirt off or? No, I'm good. That helps. Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Bubbles. All right. He's not coming up. Yeah, he is. Yeah, here. Hold your phone. I'm going to get him guided in the hole. Look at that thing. He's not coming in. Do we have to drill another hole? He's not going to fit, dude. We drill another one? His head is literally that big. I know. Around. It's it, it won't fit in three holes. His head will not fit in three holes. All right. Yeah, let's do it. I think you got to go one more. All right. I've been fighting this fish for probably... I don't know, 45 minutes. It's not so much the fight, but we can't get them through the hole. We got, we got three or four holes drilled here, and we can't get them in. So we got uh, backup coming with a 10-inch auger. They're going to ream this out for us because uh, this is easily a 100-pound fish, without a doubt. It's the biggest fish I've ever seen. So uh, I'm just taking a seat here and waiting for backup. We got backup. <laughs> we're back up we got another couple holes drilled we're up yeah. to five that's five now <laughs> we got a five holer sorry to disturb you but i appreciate the help <laughs> i've heard stories of people seeing fish like this do you need some of that ice scoop though or <sighs> oh, i think i'm good i can probably get it he gets paranoid when i do it he thinks i'm gonna clip his line so <laughs> we'll, we'll let we'll, we'll let him take care of that while he's fighting that all fish. i'm saying is if i lose this i want it to be my fault yeah exactly <laughs> The funniest part of this whole thing was when Darren put his leg knee deep into the, the <laughs> yeah, hole behind I it. Fell down there. <laughs> yeah, we've had him up to the hole a couple times, but we let him rest there while we were re-drilling. So. It's not like I'm using tiny rod either. Andy Wolfram rod, by the way. <laughs> nice, mad prop, mad props to the Wolfram Custom. I'm just waiting any second for this hook to just go. Oh no! At least we got to see it. Just straight down to it. Like it's so yeah. heavy, it, it, run, huh? it, it feels like it's snagged, but it's not. It's just, you can't move it. Oh, oh yeah. it's so heavy, too. Oh, <laughs> Come geez. on. Another eight feet. Another eight feet. Uh, definitely got it's him. got to be close now. Definitely oh, yeah. got him off the bottom, anyway. There's There's another eight, 24 eight, feet there. That line's straight down, though. There's no angle on the ice That'd at all. be close. I don't see any color yet. It's got to be close now. Oh, this thing's going to be a tank. It's got to be close. It's got to be close. Oh, yeah, he's got to be close. got to be close. got to be close. Yep, there's color. Straight down, coming up. Oh, my gosh. Look at that Holy thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Careful, careful, That's careful. Massive. Hold that line. Let me go deep. Careful. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh my oh, god. Oh. I don't know if he's gonna fit, man. <laughs> I don't want to put too much pressure on him though. Fit. Oh my god. <laughs> got him? You got something. Jeez. You got something. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Alright, I think we got him. Watch that hook. Up on the ice. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh my oh god. god. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my god. 
<laughs> it's nuts. Oh no! He's That's falling. what I'm talking about, boys. He's falling. <laughs> Oh my god, he's still coming. Oh my oh. god. Jesus. Thanks, bigger than you. Oh my god. I went deep. That is nuts. Got it. 78. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. What do we got? Seventy-eight. Yep. Seventy-eight. Yeah. All right. Um, I wonder if we should get a picture. I don't even know how I'm gonna get a picture. Right. One. Seventy-eight inches by what? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. We gotta get this thing back down the hole. <coughs> All right, we're gonna get this back in. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Doesn't want to go, it's hanging up on something. Oh, there you go. Woo! Nice, nice fish. Congratulations. I might be done ice fishing. I don't think I want, I, honestly, I don't know if I want to experience that again. That was, come on, dude, that was awesome. That was awesome. But man, that took a team effort. Holy cow. Instant. Oh, on. Heavy, right? Oh yeah, that's heavy. Zach's got a really heavy fish hooked here. It's fighting weird, like it's, it feels like dead weight, eh? Yeah, you wanna maybe just stir it up a little down there? Can you feel under the edge of the ice? I can feel there's lots of slush there. I think I'm hooked on the ice, no. Like no fish hooked on the ice? I don't, yeah, there, just when I pull, there's no, there's no give at all, no. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna use like a two by four or something that I can push my line straight down. Yeah. That way. I'm thinking I'll do something with the chisel maybe. Did you see the angle it went down there at? Yeah. Does it feel like it's sliding smoothly? Uh, I don't know. If you pull slowly, it should be pulling from the bottom, right? That's good though, that's what we need. When it pops off that bottle, there'll be slack, eh? Oh, bad things, good things. There we go. Are you loose? Yeah, oh, well, he's free, he's fighting again. We've got a direct line now again to this extremely heavy fish, but what you just witnessed was some crazy special ops stuff. What we had to do, because we had this fish way off away. What do you think, like 20 feet away, more? Yeah. Who knows, we really have no <laughs> way of knowing. But he came up to the ice and he got himself in just even a little bit of slush and what he was able to do with that angle so far away is he went dead weight on us. So what we did is first we tried poking down with the scoop, couldn't make any gains. So what I did is I affixed this uh, water bottle very professionally with some electrical tape just to get a smooth edge here where we could run the line around and I covered up all the rough edges with electrical tape. And then what we did is we just got ourselves a better angle on that fish. I dropped the chisel down and then I even had about 12, 15 feet of rope hanging off of it. So essentially, by the time I dropped that all down, pushing down with the line, you could picture that his line was down like this and then back up to the fish. And what we were able to do is free that fish, pull him off the bottom of the ice. And it made a little awkward bow and arrow pluck when it came off, but we have a direct connection to this fish again in result. He's at the bottom of the hole. Yeah, here he comes, here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Another amazing fish. This is a fatty, Zach. Oh! It's just a matter of getting his head started with all that slush down there. You can see that's a standard 10 inch hole, but we've got it hollowed out at the bottom like a lampshade almost. Makes it that much easier to get their head started. Those barbels are what it scratches along the bottom with as external mouth taste buds that it uses to feel out the bottom and then drops that mouth down, sucks stuff up. That's why we're focused on the bottom. Awesome fish, buddy. Get on. <laughs> Feels so funny not using a flash rod. Turn it fishing. on if you wanna talk about it. <laughs> Isn't it nice to not have to stare at your screen? It is nice, it's so nice. Uh, not using flashers, laying it on the bottom. Jake's and minnows. So poor. I got one. You're gonna set that? I got that one. There you go. Another good one, eh? Yeah. Wow, that is cool. Feeling them actually with their sucker going down on it. Gong, 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 gong. You can see we're not using flashers. This hole, there was no transducer removed. With the way sturgeon feed on the bottom with that sucker is the highest percentage spot to run into them is on the bottom. So Zach has us just laying our jigs right on the bottom. And just once in a while, picking up tension on it just to feel that jig and see if something's on it. Yeah. But since we're fishing that way, it just doesn't really do that much for you to have the flasher going. You're just gonna be sitting on the bottom regardless of whether you see a fish. So 
It's not like you can anticipate the bite or try and tease the bite. Oh man, just need to get his head started. We've uh, had to deal with that insane slush. And now, <laughs> not a factor, but getting him up the hole still is. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is incredible. This opportunity to get out here in the dark, lay some jigs and minnows on the bottom, get down over 20 feet. And this is what's lurking down there. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, just a beauty. Two different jurisdictions of two different countries on either side of the river. In Canada, Ontario, they don't even want you to fish for these fish. But luckily for us, there's a season open almost year round, catch and release for these amazing creatures in Minnesota. They've got a tagging program. They're doing a good job monitoring the population. There he goes on his own strength. 